Hi everyone, this is Bharti Goyal. I'm a childbirth educator and a prenatal yoga specialist. And today we are going to talk about seven natural labor pain management techniques that do not require any pain medication. The first technique is breathing. I know it sounds obvious, however, most of us when we are in pain or especially labor pain, sort of hold our breath and brace ourselves as the contraction approaches. This is not really ideal. Effective breathing throughout labor not only helps in reducing pain and keeping your muscles relaxed, it also helps in keeping you and the baby well oxygenated so that both of you keep doing well throughout labor. I have done a separate video in which I talk about these breathing techniques for different stages of labor in more detail. So there are different breathing exercises you can do through early labor, active labor, transition and the pushing phase and these breathing techniques will help you feel more relaxed and calm throughout labor. The second technique is massage and positive touch. So you can ask your birth partner to give you a nice massage on the neck, shoulders, hands, feet, the entire back and the hip area during labor. A counter hip squeeze during contractions can help in relieving the pressure felt during contractions. You can actually practice these massages during the last few weeks of pregnancy to see what you like. The next technique is hot or cold therapy. So this is as simple as using a hot water bottle or a heating pad on your back, hips, maybe the neck during labor. You can also alternate this with cold packs or a cold washcloth on your forehead, neck if you are feeling too hot. Alternating between hot and cold also helps in keeping this more effective since if you use hot for a very long time you stop getting the relief after some time so you can then alternate to cold and then come back to hot. The fourth one is elimination or just going to the bathroom every 45 minutes to one hour. Our bladder, uterus and rectum are all squished inside the pelvis so even having some urine in the bladder can be quite uncomfortable during labor and in fact it can also cause labor to become longer Emptying the bladder frequently will help in reducing any discomfort during contractions and also help with labor progress. These frequent visits to the bathroom also promote mobility and take the advantage of gravity which also helps in moving the labor along. The next one is just using different positions throughout labor to see what feels nice. So you can be on all fours just rocking your pelvis front to back or you can sway with your partner or sway against a wall just rocking your pelvis. This takes the advantage of gravity and also helps with pelvic mobility to get things going. Continuing from this, most hospitals also have a birthing ball. So you can also use a birthing ball for doing your pelvic tilts, hip circles and even coming down on your knees, which is also a great position for your partner to provide back and hip massage. I have done a separate video where I explain different ways of using a birthing ball so you can check that out. Last but definitely not the least is positive visualization and imagery. Keeping yourself relaxed, calm and mentally positive is half the battle won during labor. So you can have a positive visualization and imagery audio saved on your phone which you can listen during labor. You can also carry a sheet with some positive affirmations like every contraction brings me closer to my baby, my body and my baby are built for birth. These affirmations help in providing positive energy and keeping you motivated through labor. We learn and practice these labor management techniques in my birth preparation class so you can check that out as well. I hope you found this helpful. Do share it with other moms you know who might find it helpful as well. I'll see you soon with a new video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.